Now, local and global variables are also sometimes talked about in the terms of scope. So when you ever hear the term variable scope, it's about what part of the program the variable is working within. So any variables you define at the top of your code, which is best practice, are known as global variables. So they're accessible throughout the entirety of your code. So when I make functions, let's do um, name change. So I'm gonna make a function that allows the user to change their name, okay? So we'll pass it a new name. And then what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say f name equals new name print actually let's go for return now i've taught you this return um f name and i'm going to print a nice message so i'm going to print your new name is new name is and then i'm going to call within here let's put format your new name is name change and we're gonna have to pass it something so i'm gonna pass it um down need to use the single quotes again if you remember so i'm gonna pass it down so i'm gonna say your new name is and then i'm gonna call the name change function and pass it down so technically f name should now become dan and it returns dan okay so when I run it, it says your new name is Dan. Brilliant. Now, this is where I'm going to confuse you. On purpose, of course. So now if I print F name, it's going to still be Bob. So why is it Bob if I've changed it to Dan? Well, it's because, and this is again a common error, it's people not understanding the difference between global and local variables. So these variables at the top, imagine I've got I don't know, 20 functions and I've got other variables as well. These are global variables. So the idea is I can access them throughout the entirety of my code. However, any variables you define in a function are local variables. So what I've actually got here is I've got two variables with the same name. The only difference is the scope of that variable is only within this function. So that when I'm reference, referencing f name here, it's a local variable, so it's a variable that will only work within this function. But because I'm returning it, when it's actually returned, it's just a string. It's just the data that's returned, not the actual variable. So when I run this, it says your new name is Dan. It's because Dan did get returned, but as a string. So this is what's called a local variable. Now, this is obviously probably an accident because you technically wouldn't often have the same named variables. If I wanted to change that variable, so where I've said f name equals new name, if I actually wanted that to change this global version of the variable, I could, but I'd need to write here, global f name. And what that means is when I use the term f name, I'm actually referring to the global version of f name and not a new variable. I don't want to make a new variable with the same name. So if I run this, what's happening now is when it does this line, it is actually changing that to Dan. Then it's returning Dan in my nice little printout. But then you can see anytime I access F name later on, it's now actually Dan. So my advice is here, anytime you're within a function and you want to be editing the main variables at the top, make sure you write global and then the name of those variables because that will ensure that when you edit and change them, it will be changing these ones at the top and not changing a new variable with the same name that's only going to work within the function. Okay, so remember global variables are the ones at the top that can be used and accessed throughout the entirety of your code. And unless you state otherwise, when you make variables within a function, they are known as local variables. So they only work within that function. You can't access them outside of it. But obviously, if you want to, you can write global, and then any time you access it, you're going to change these variables at the top. The most common one that I see people making, especially early doors, is you might have something like score. So if you're making a game of some sort, 
and throughout your code different functions might want to increment or, or take away from the score make sure you write global score and then it will affect the overall variable at the top and not a new score variable that's only working within your function okay it's quite a complex thing to fully get your head around but it's really important unless you understand it you might find some of your code isn't behaving perfectly later on so again global variables are the variables at the top that are defined that are accessed throughout your code and then local variables are variables that are created within a function that only have scope within that function okay best practices in your code write all your variables at the top your global variables then have all of your functions and then do your code underneath